Registered Phenomena Code 173 Object Class Gamma Yellow Hazard Types Tychokinetic Hazard Transmutation Hazard Mind Control Hazard Sensory Hazard Teleportation Hazard Containment Protocols Site 002B is to maintain two 25 meter wide, 7 km racetracks enclosed by a 9 meter high concrete wall. Each wall is to include parking space along the sides and reinforced gates for vehicle entry or escort to another track. If an occupied track requires maintenance, all vehicles are to be routed out to the other. This is to be performed by closing off the current track and leaving a path open to the other, using said gates until every vehicle has passed through. While RPC-173 is active, if the unused track is damaged, it must be repaired immediately. RPC-173 is to stay in a containment locker for roughly 166 hours every time it deactivates, then return to either track before reactivation. When returned, RPC-173 must be with 13 closely arranged vehicles along the track and placed in the leading one. These vehicles are to be used by CSD personnel for both containment and testing. Due to this, each vehicle requires a remote ignition and emergency control system. These remote functions are to be activated by PDAs used by supervising personnel. Upon RPC-173 activating, often indicated by the sound of music, supervisors are to start each car and cue the CSDs to drive. While active, individuals previously designated RPC-173-ID instances are to be forcefully parked and evacuated. All vehicles are to be cleared from each track once RPC-173 deactivates. Description: RPC-173 is an automotive rear-view mirror decoration, resembling a pair of green dice with a fluffy texture. When outside a car and active, RPC-173 will create an area that grows exponentially over time. The first individual within a vehicle to enter this area will instantly find RPC-173 in their possession. Once found, individuals will hang it, often over the rearview mirror, then drive away and thereby become an RPC-173 ID instance. Upon driving, RPC-173 ID instances will begin to ignore anything unrelated to their vehicles. Passengers when present in a vehicle with an RPC-173 ID instance will likewise become unresponsive and fixedly stare ahead, occasionally cheering the driver. Once hung in a moving vehicle, RPC-173 will cause an RPC-173 ID instance and their vehicle to exhibit further anomalous properties. RPC-173 ID instances will then become fixated on driving at high speeds and demonstrate a significant increase in skill on handling their vehicles. RPC-173 ID instances are capable of performing feats of stunt driving considered extremely hazardous or impossible under normal conditions to avoid de-acceleration. Vehicles affected by RPC-173 will emanate music and actively undergo anomalous mechanical transformations to optimize components that hinder speed or mobility. These replacements occur when a component breaks or becomes ineffective due to external influences. Documented vehicular changes due to RPC-173 Vehicle model Components affected Apparent issues Change 1997 Chevrolet Cavalier Tires Ruptured due to police spikes The tires underwent a series of rapid mechanical and chemical transformations, turning into airless variants composed of a titanium mesh. Toyota Sprinter Chirino AE86 Engine and battery No power and fuel The V4 engine was transformed into a V12 solenoid engine while the battery transformed into a generator that powered the car by unknown means. 2001 John Deere 425 Nearly all Fell apart, likely not properly assembled. This is the only documented case of RPC-173 affecting something other than a street-legal automobile, despite extensive testing to repeat this. 2019 2.0L Turbo Honda Accord Tires and output shafts. Instability due to snow. 
The car was changed to use a four-wheel drive system, as well as tires with deeper treads. Bluebird TC-2000RE Chassis and engine Crashed beforehand, resulting in a severely damaged engine and chassis. The front of the bus became slightly more aerodynamic, while the engine became capable of exerting 520 kilowatts. Any driver within a 30-meter radius behind a vehicle affected by RPC-173 may undergo the same anomalous effects. Drivers within this range have a 13.954% per second chance to become affected, to a maximum of 12, and are designated RPC-173D, numbers 1 through 12 respectively. Once affected, RPC-173-D instances will attempt to move in front of the current RPC-173-ID instance. RPC-173-ID instances respond to this by driving aggressively and taking unsafe routes. Any RPC-173-D instance which drives ahead of an RPC-173-ID instance will find RPC-173 in their possession and take the previous RPC-173-ID's designation. Individuals who lose RPC-173 come to a stop in a confused, dazed state. It is currently impossible to halt any vehicles affected by RPC-173 by normal means. Blocking the path of any affected vehicle will result in immediate evasion or change of route to avoid it. When struck sufficiently to be destroyed or immobilized, affected vehicles suffer moderate damage at worst and reorient themselves right after. Attempts to forcibly stop an affected vehicle or terminate its driver are consistently circumvented through coincidental events, suggesting RPC-173 is capable of influencing probability. The only known way to stop vehicles affected by RPC-173 is by letting it transfer itself twelve times between vehicles. Once it does, RPC-173 will cease exhibiting anomalous activity for a week, and any affected individual will return to normal. Discovery. RPC-173 was found on December 17, 1995, after an MST squad member left during a raid using one of the Authority's vehicles. The individual ignored all communication systems, and was presumed AWOL or compromised. Fourteen squad vehicles were dispatched to apprehend them, but due to RPC-173, twelve became unresponsive. Only until RPC-173 deactivated eight hours later were Authority personnel able to identify RPC-173 as an anomaly using dashcam footage. RPC-173 was seen disappearing and reappearing between cameras twelve times before all vehicles stopped on the thirteenth appearance. The last transfer of RPC-173 occurred after MST member Elia Dent performed a Scandinavian flick on a curved mountain road to outpace the leading vehicle. After doing so, she inadvertently obtained RPC-173 in an inert state. Addendum 01 An audio sample from a passing vehicle affected by RPC-173 has been attached below.